Salin Le Bar used to be of gold, because if you had salt, you automatically had gold in your hands. The fortresses surrounding the city remove all doubt. Some old buildings, a broken wall, the tough main entrance, the stately office building, and part of the salt works are all that remained. At the former factory site, the market stalls stand together fraternally next to the parked cars of the curious day trippers, who naturally want to know what things were like at the salt mine. The donkey engine makes the same movements as it learnt way back then. The salt works are in fact out of order. The only thing it does is produce therapeutic waters for the water needy in the health spa further down. The salt extraction method is as simple and as it is efficient. You pump fresh water through the porous rock salt layer at 246 meters depth and behold, the emerging water is saturated with salt. Well, almost. The next step is to pump the salt water to the ovens where the water evaporates and the salt awaits to be gathered. Salt extraction in Salin Le Bain was mentioned for the first time back in the 12th century. In 1962, the salt works closed its doors and was later sold to the municipality. The main reason for the closure was deforestation. There was no more wood for the ovens. The huge forests of Shaw were too far away and pit coal was too expensive. The salt works are now a museum that tells us how things were back then. Salin Le Bain had location in its favour, packed between the mountains and with trigger happy fortresses at the top, and a solid wall around the city made potential plunderers think twice before they would lay their fingers on the salt. <laughs> 